우리? Are you watching the news about the hurricanes? Oh my goodness, Odie! That is so devastating! Why don't we learn about hurricanes and find out why they cause so much damage? Hurricanes are the biggest, most violent storms on Earth! A hurricane's scientific name is Tropical Cyclone. For a hurricane to form, the heat from the sun must warm the tropical ocean water to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. As the water gets warmer, it evaporates. The evaporated water moves up into the atmosphere and forms a cloud. Air rises and pushes the evaporated water up, making the cloud even bigger. The warm air underneath the cloud is less dense than the cool air above the cloud. Because of the difference in density, the pressure underneath the storm cloud is lower than the pressure above it. Wind in the atmosphere causes the storm cloud to start spinning. The eye of the hurricane forms as the air moves up and out of the cloud. This is the center of the storm and is relatively calm and clear. Surrounding the eye is the eye wall. This is the most violent and dangerous part of the hurricane, where the highest wind speeds are. Hurricanes are classified into five categories based on the intensity of their sustained wind speeds. A Category 1 hurricane has wind speeds ranging from 74 to 95 miles per hour. Category 1 storms have very dangerous winds and will produce some damage. A Category 2 hurricane has sustained wind speeds ranging from 96 miles per hour to 110 miles per hour. These storms produce extremely dangerous winds and cause extensive damage. A Category 3 hurricane has wind speeds of 111 to 129 miles per hour. Category 3 storms will cause devastating damage. Wind speeds of a Category 4 hurricane will range from 130 miles per hour to 156 miles per hour. Damage that will occur during a Category 4 hurricane is catastrophic. A Category 5 hurricane has sustained wind speeds of 157 miles per hour or more. Category 5 is the highest classification and will produce cataclysmic damage due to the hurricane winds. All hurricanes eventually die. Hurricanes need large amounts of water to survive. This means that as they move over land, they weaken. Hurricanes also need warm water. As hurricanes head north where the water temperatures are cooler, they eventually die out.
To everyone affected by the hurricanes, we are thinking of you and we hope you are safe.